Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Features. Today we're going to show you how to save money and material with nesting and true shape nesting in Flexi 90. So I have a file that I need to print and cut that contains some stickers that have a contour cut around them. Now I can print and cut them like this but already we're going to use a lot of material 130 by 143 centimeters. We want to see if we can reduce that in order to save us material and some money. So let's have a look at the nesting options that we have in Flexi. So first of all, I'm going to select all of my stickers. I'm then going to go to the Arrange tab and I'm going to select the Nest option here. Now we can see a preview of how it's going to arrange our objects in our nest. So in this case, we can adjust our material height and width if we choose to, as well as some other parameters such as the space between objects, which is on five millimeters at the moment, and also our step angle. Now the nesting function is our standard nesting so it will just use the art box of every object in order to calculate its nest. So when we've chosen our parameters and we're happy we select apply and there we are it's nested our objects together. So already we can see there's been a big reduction in the amount of material that we have used. Now it's only using 94 centimeters by 133 centimeters and that money goes straight into our savings so I'm just going to undo that nest so we can have a look at our second nesting function we're going to use the true shape nesting function now which is our advanced nesting option this is going to allow the objects to rotate within each other's art box as long as they are not touching so again I have to make sure I've selected all of my objects. We see we're back to our default 133 by 143 centimeters of media usage. Again, I'm going to go to the Arrange tab, but this time I'm going to select True Shape Nest. Here we see in Design Central, we have the same options to adjust our panel width, height, space between objects and step angle. So in this case, I want to reduce my media width a little bit because my roll isn't quite that wide. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to select the tick button here and it's going to begin to process our nest. You can see the progress in the bottom left corner. There we are. Now our nest is complete and we can see we're now only using 99.78 by 113 centimeters. So this is saving us even more than our nesting. And we can see the objects have rotated. So they're now fitting within each other's art boxes to save us the maximum material possible. Now I'm just going to undo this again so we can see another one of the options in True Shape Nesting. So, if I have my objects selected and I go to arrange true shape nest here we see an option for copies so if we want the same file to be nested multiple times we can select two or three copies like so set again our media width and when we press OK it's going to process again and we can see how our nesting will be carried across the whole length of the roll. So there we are. The copies have been uh, duplicated within the true shape nesting process. And we can see all of my jobs are nested like so. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more five minute feature videos and let us know in the comments if there's something that you would like highlighted in five minute features.